Hi everyone, it's Elliot from TutorialEdge.net and welcome to part 4 of my Creating a Hacker News Clone in Vue.js series. In this tutorial, we're going to be updating our homepage component that we defined in part 3 so that it makes a couple of API requests to the Hacker News API. Once we've retrieved the results from these API requests, we're then going to render them out in a similar fashion to how the Hacker News website does. As always, the full text version of this tutorial can be found on my website and I'll leave a link to this in the description below. So let's dive into Visual Studio Code and into our project. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is to install the Axios library that will allow us to make our HTTP requests to the Hacker News API. Now, the way we can do that is through either Yarn or NPM. Because I've set this project up with Yarn, I'm going to use Yarn. So Yarn, Add, and Axios, like so. Once we've done this, we can then open up the homepage.view component and then within our script tags, we can then import this new library. So import Axios from Axios, like so. Now that we've done that, we're going to want to define our data function for this component. So data colon function space parentheses and within the body of this, we're going to want to return and error to capture our errors and our, an array of stories like so. So the reason we've added both the error and the stories to our data function is so that we can bind these to the DOM later on in this tutorial. This will effectively allow us to render out our list of returned stories in a really succinct and easy manner. The next thing we're going to want to do is to add the created lifecycle event to our component. Now, this will effectively allow us to make our HTTP calls when this component is first rendered in the browser, and then it will subsequently display any of the stories retrieved from those HTTP requests as a list. So just after our data function, do the following. So created function. And within the body of this function, we're going to want to make the HTTP requests to the Hacker News API. So the API endpoint that we're going to want to hit is the following. So hackernews.firebase.io.com slash v0 slash topstories.json. Now, in order to make the HTTP request, we have to do the following. So axios.get. And we're going to want to get this HTTP endpoint. And then with the response of this, we are going to want to populate this.stories, which will populate this object up here. So this.stories equals response.data, like so. We're also going to want to specify the catch. So catch error. And this.error equals error. So effectively, if the HTTP request is successful, it will populate this.stories. If it fails, this will get caught here and we'll be able to populate this.error with the error returned from this HTTP request. Just make this slightly larger. Now, now that we've done that, we're then going to want to render out the response that we get back from this within our template. And the way we're going to do that is div and then we're going to use the b4 directive and say story in stories. Now this is going to ask for a key, so we're going to vbind uh, the key equals story. And within the div, we're going to want to render using the mustache syntax story. Save that and you should see our Webpack server has successfully compiled our application and then open up localhost 8080, like so. And you should see that when we load this application up, it renders out hundreds of story IDs. Excellent, so we're making really good progress here. We've been able to update our homepage component so that when it is created, it will first make a call to the Hacker News top stories endpoint. Now, obviously, this doesn't give us a lot of information right now. Whilst it's cool to be able to hit a REST API, the IDs aren't exactly good reading. Now, 
in order for us to retrieve the full titles, URLs, number of comments, and so on for each particular story in the top page, we're going to have to perform subsequent HTTP requests using the IDs that we've got returned here. So let's make a quick and easy fix to our code so that we can do this. So this.stories, we're going to change this to let results equals response.data.slice so that we only retrieve the first 10 items. We're then going to want to iterate over the top 10 items. So results dot for each and for every ID in this results array, we're going to want to perform an axios dot get request to the item endpoint. Now this will be appended with the ID and dot JSON like so. Finally, we're going to want to handle the response from this promise. So dot then response and we're going to want to do this.stories.push response and just for tidiness we're going to add the catch as well so this.error equals error just in case there are any errors thrown save that and fix this linting issue and then when we come back into our application within the browser, you should see that it only renders the JSON results for the top 10 stories on Hacker News right now. Now, obviously this doesn't look all that pretty. So let's go back into our component and update our template. Now, the first thing we're gonna want to do is create a wee bit of space in here. And we're gonna want to output the story title as a h2. Now just to double check if we do story.data.title that should give us the title that we're after. So story.data.title and below this we're going to want to also output story.data.url Um, we're also going to want to do the descendants, which will be the comments. So comments, story.data.descendants, double check the spelling, descendants, it's given as the comments. And finally, we also want to display the score. So p score story dot data dot score like so. And we'll remove this here. Save that, open up your browser, and you should see that we have not only got the titles for the top 10 stories, we have the URLs that we can navigate to, we have the number of comments below that, and we have the overall score. Now, that's all we're gonna be covering in this tutorial. We've successfully managed to update our homepage component so that it hits the Hacker News API and retrieves the top 10 stories from that API. In the next tutorial, we're gonna be implementing the single route so that you can click on the title of this story it will navigate through to the single component that we created earlier in the series, and it will subsequently display all of the comments that we have for that story. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, then please leave it a like and subscribe to my channel for more programming-based tutorials. Cheers.